as the Prime Minister explained, and this is important, Madam President, 30 cents of every dollar will go to wages for public officers. 7 cents of every dollar for public officers' pensions. 18 cents of every dollar for operational costs of the government, such as utilities and transportation. And 7 cents for interest on loans. That leaves 27 cents, Madam President, for capital expenditure and investment to build a better Belize. Therefore, 73 cents of every dollar simply keeps the machinery of government running, and it is only 27 cents that is available for building Belize. Madam President, it is in that context that we have to make efforts, as was made by Senator Curry, in accessing concessional financing in order to make the ambitious plans of Plan Belize possible. I will now turn very briefly to the capital projects, or at least some of the capital projects that are expected to be undertaken in the upcoming fiscal year. And Madam President, as the Prime Minister emphasized, and as this government will always emphasize, health and education, the Belizean people are at the center of the capital expenditure program of the Briseño administration. $35 million will be used to fund an expansion of NHI, $21 million to help fund the growing payables related to land acquisitions undertaken by the previous United Democratic Party government. Madam President, $10 million will be used to repair and maintain our major highways and $6 million for low-income homes and housing. Six million for the upgrading of rural roads and bridges, three million for village streets, seven million for upgrading of streets in cities and towns, and four million for the anti-violence program, one million for additional equipment for the police department, and 2.7 million for agricultural and sugar roads. Madam President, this is just to highlight a few of the new programs and projects that will be undertaken in the coming fiscal year. $430.7 million is being allocated for capital spending in the fiscal year. And Madam President, we say again, we inherited a rundown physical stock of government schools, government hospitals, and government buildings, government roads and bridges across the breadth of this country. And we have had to find money to build and restore many buildings and many pieces of our infrastructure. At the same time, we have come in with an ambitious plan to make Belize better by improving the infrastructure of the country, by allowing low-cost housing, by increasing the healthcare sector performance. All of those things require capital expenditure. And as I indicated, we only have 27 cents out of each dollar to achieve these things.